In this video, I'll show you how to read multiple files from a folder and then load the data into a database table. Here are the five files. Um, these are all um, stored in a directory called talent input and I am using uh, the other folder called airport. Uh, so we'll, we'll read these files uh, iteratively and then load uh, the data into a database table. Alright, let's go to our uh, talent studio. Uh, as you can see, I have already created um, a file delimited metadata. For those, um, for one of the file, I have created it, so you don't need to create multiple for that. Uh, so in, the, in my case, I'm going to use uh, the CSV file, uh, which is in uh, Encode Runway. So this, I'll be using it as our uh, file input delimiter. Alright, so uh, as you can see, uh, all the metadata, the table, schema, everything is uh, coming directly from uh, the metadata, so I don't have to worry on that. Uh, and as you can see now uh, the file name is uh, standard uh, which is a hardcoded value uh, of 1 because I created metadata with this name so that's how it is so in order to load multiple uh, files here uh, we will have to turn this off uh, to make it built-in and as soon as you make it built-in uh, this is now enabled so this part uh, instead of uh, hard coding uh, we will have to use uh, a global variable here um, in order to read multiple files uh, we have a component called d file list so what this component does is um, this will actually read um, a folder uh, read a particular folder and uh, retrieve all the files uh, from that folder so here, uh, this is the directory uh, that we will have to specify. I'll go ahead and uh, point to that this directory. Okay, now we are pointing to the right uh, directory. And you have a way to even uh, specify subfolders. Um, let's say under airport you have uh, multiple other uh, um, folders here and you want to read those, you can uh, check this option so that it, it reads uh, every subdirectory and then loads uh, all the files. So for now, I'll just leave it blank and uh, uh, you have a way to uh, specify whether you want um, case sensitive uh, file names or not um, because sometimes in some source systems, you know, if they provide files in a different format and different, uh, you know, file names. So this is very helpful uh, and uh, there is a section called file max. This is where we specify um, the type of the file or the wildcard uh, wild uh, requirement for any file so for example let's say I want to print on I want to read only uh, star dot uh, CSV you can give that or you can say uh, I want to read only uh, user uh, star dot CSV so you can uh, play around with multiple um, you know wildcards here all right so for uh, my case uh, the file that I'll be using is uh, CSV as you can see um, so I'll go ahead and specify star star dot CSV here. Or uh, it's not a mandatory. Even if you leave it blank, it's gonna read everything. Uh, if some of the files are TXT CSV, it's going to read every uh, file on it. So uh, that's all. Uh, that's all on this file list component. And uh, when you right click on this file list, you get an option called iterate. Iterate is nothing but um, uh, as uh, this component will read uh, one file at a time and uh, it will iterate through uh, you know the flow uh, like whatever uh, if you have um, any input uh, component or any other operations that you want to do it on the file or anything um, this will help us uh, read uh, you know file uh, one by one iteratively so that's the uh, use of it all you do is uh, do a right click iterate and then connect your uh, input component now that we have connected here, um, see uh, the file name is hard coded, so we will have to make it parameterize. So for that, uh, go ahead and remove that. Uh, you will, be, in order to use any of the global uh, variable here, all you have to do is uh, type in the component name, the file list, and then hit Control Space. You will get uh, the several options. Um, you can just read the file name or a file uh, directory or the file extension, file path, uh, you get separate um, several options here, uh, you can choose uh, any one of those. Uh, so now uh, what I'll do is I have this file list too, I'll go ahead and choose um, you know, the current uh, fi file path. So this, this will have uh, 
uh, the current uh, path of the file and also the file name uh, will be listed here so I'll go ahead and uh, use that and you don't have to worry on uh, the schema uh, structure and the length of any columns and all because everything is derived from um, a database uh, sorry the metadata and um, uh, it's a comma separated file and they, this has a header so it will be perfect all right so now uh, we're done with uh, reading the uh, file one by one and on uh, the input file uh, we have given the global map so now let's uh, go ahead and connect uh, to a tmap here i'll just show you uh, we can actually print the file name uh, also so that we know exactly uh, whether we have loaded that uh, file or not let's look at the tmap uh, settings here um, so these are my uh, input um, you know, uh, columns here I'm going to create one variable uh, uh, this is to store uh, my file name so for that just uh, go ahead and type in file and hit uh, control space you should be able to see um, the existing global variables uh, I'll go ahead and choose the current file path so now uh, this variable will have the actual file uh, which we are in a processing all right let me go ahead and create one output and first first column I want to make it as um, here the file name and I'll call this as file name and uh, the remaining thing I will just drag and drop here and uh, as you can see the, all the schemas have been already taken care so for the file name I'm gonna define the length as 100 um, with uh, setting up uh, the input output one expression for uh, the file name alright so now uh, let's go ahead and connect with uh, um, I, I want to load this uh, data into a MySQL so I will go ahead and type in um, all right let me let me actually take it from the metadata which I already have it and I want to use it as output okay so now with the metadata it is always good idea because it um, will automatically you know get all the uh, required details all we have to do, in, do is you know, specify the uh, table name um, for details and I would like to truncate this data or let's let me I'll, I'll just do a drop table if exist and then uh, recreate let me go ahead and run the job Now, as you can see, the first file has picked up, the second file has picked up, and then the loaded. So that's how uh, it repeats. So all the five executions are now finished, and it has loaded uh, 131 records over the to target. All right, let's me let me quickly go to uh, MySQL. All right, let's see. Okay, see how we have already loaded uh, 131 records.